Okay, today I want to cover about talk about the salt bath or the salt water flush and also the laxatives um, that you're going to be taking. These are crucial. I know a lot of people just try to do it without these, but these are what helps keep your colon um, getting stuff out of your body. And if you don't get rid your body of those toxins and of those things that you're cleaning it out, then it's going to back up and it's going to make you sick. You're going to have, you know, more headaches and, and, and ways that we um, detox uh, through urine, through bowel movements, vomiting. People, if you back up, you're going to vomit. Um, skin irritations, things like that. Um, and so whenever you see, oh my gosh, I have a rash. Why do I have a rash? Are your bowels moving? Are they cleaning out? You know, okay. <clears throat> so... At first, I just started with the salt flush and the smooth move um, laxative, the tea, the tea. And so then when I read in the book that the capsule helps to get most of the bulk out of the colon, I went and got this from my local health food store. You can order these on Amazon. And, um, and so taking the herbal laxative the night before you start. So like taking this night before you start. Well, I did the tea the night before I started. And you can, it says tea or capsule. The longer that this tea steeps, the stronger that it will be. And then it may cause more cramping. So um, it, depend, it depend, depends on how backed up you are as well. And so um, when you're using the laxative in a tablet form, you're generally going to need at least three to five of them to create the desired results. I took just one. So it depends upon, I mean, my bowels are moving. And so, but I was just taking one just to make sure. Um, now I'm gonna continue to take this um, after the cleanse. I'm on day 13 and 14. So after the cleanse, I'm gonna continue to take this to help um, keep stuff going out of my colon as long as, as well as incorporating my enzymes when I do eat. Um, it says, please remember this is a liquid mono diet with no fiber whatsoever to bulk up the colon. The continual ingestion of fluids combined with elimination of runny, slimy mucus and old waste will make your bowels appear as though you have diarrhea. In fact, you do not. It can take two to three days for the stool to go from firm to loose. And so um, it, it'll take a little bit um, for it to, to kind of change the texture. And then all of a sudden you have just this um, runny mucus that kind of comes out. Um, so with the salt water or the uh, salt water bath is what um, I call it the salt water flush because that's exactly what it does. Um, and you are going to take, it says before drinking lemonade, either take the herbal laxative or the tea and an internal salt water bath, which is two teaspoons, not tablespoons, two teaspoons of unidized sea salt and one quart of uh, warm water. Um, and so then the quart, I just used a quart mason jar and I filled it up and I took it. But when I drank that, I had almost instant results. When I would drink the tea, I would not have as fast results. So the tea is probably better for me. Now it may be different for you. And so, but the tea is probably better for, uh, for it was better for me if I'm gonna go to work. If I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna ha not have to be, you know, but otherwise the salt bath, it was like instant. I went to the bathroom and then I was in the bathroom for a little bit longer because it kept flushing it out. The herbal laxative can cause cramping. Um, this is usually the result of your colon's discharge, rather some nasty stuff. At a certain point, you'll not want to overdo the laxative because it may cause severe cramping and nausea. Um, the, in the book, he says, I find that for me, the laxative is better at eliminating waste from the colon. So I usually do the salt water bath three times in 10 days. And I drink the salt water on day one, then again, day three, day four, and finally on day seven or eight. So I, um, that's exactly what I did. 
um, I kind of spaced the salt water out uh, because I wanted to get the bulk out. It says, do not drink the salt water flush all at one time as you'll probably throw it up and then be disgusted. Take about 10 minutes to drink it. And so, and nice and warm, it's kind of like a coffee. I mean, I pretended it like it was, you know. So, um, so anyway, but the, um, usually, um, you just kind of have to know how much um, you're backed up. Now, I was a regular person um, with bowel movements before this, so it didn't take long. Like the first day I was, I was having the liquid, you know, bowel movements. And so, I mean, just hours. Then also I was drinking every hour a lemonade. So you have to remember that. So that was starting out. Now I'm day 13, 14, I'm drinking six a day. I'm drinking six. Um, six is the minimum that you can drink. I started out with 12. Now I'm drinking six. And so I really slowed down a lot. I'm still not hungry. Still not craving stuff. Um, but it is crucial and vital that you have three to four eliminations from your bowels each day when you're using the herbal laxative. The best remedy is, oh, okay. So some people experience, let me read this. I highlighted this in the book. Some people experience a ring of fire. And I talked about that like day one or two. And that is um, the, let me, let me read what it says. It says some people experience a colorful, descri uh, colorful description of ring of fire during elimination. To be plain about it, it's merely a combination of the cayenne pepper and acidic waste being passed from your bowels. The best remedy is usually to apply coconut oil to the affected area, which is great. That is a, um, it's a great thing. Um, I also make my own um, wipes that you could say, I guess. I take a cotton round in a mason jar and I just cram it full of um, organic cotton rounds and I take a bottle of witch hazel and I pour it in and I let those soak up and absorb it. And I use those little bitty cotton round wipes um, that are flushable. And that is what I was using. And then I would apply coconut oil after that. And um, very helpful, very helpful in that um, ring of fire instance. And so, okay, so I found it helpful to take the lax, the capsule laxative at night. And then I drank the tea in the morning. I'm a coffee drinker. I don't know if I will be after this because I haven't had it in so long, but the, um, I like warm things in the morning. And so, um, so this was in the morning and this was in the evening and that's what worked for me. Now, something else may work for you. You know your body and you know what your body's gonna do. So you try what you um, want to. And I'll be back to report on day 15, my last day of the cleanse.